Right now, on with us on Young Power on Power 106 FM this morning is the super sensational, dynamic, and songbird of Jamaica, the boy, Tessan Chin. Hi, hey. Tessan. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good morning. Hi, we're good. Good morning, Tessan Chin. Good wow. morning. You know, from, we've been telling our listeners for a while that we're going to get you on this program. And even ever since your performance on The Voice, wow, those calls have been coming in. So it's really a pleasure to have you this morning. Well, thank you very much. I'm happy to be here with you. That's right. We have a number of youth listening. This is the number one program for the youth, especially on a Saturday. So you're going to be speaking to a lot of youngsters this morning. Awesome. Re- really exciting. Tessan, <laughs> wow, The Voice. <laughs> the voice. All we can think about now is the <laughs> voice when we hear of Tess and Chin. How how was that entire experience for you? Um, it was absolutely amazing. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced before and I was just in complete just awe and gratitude the whole time I was there because I just felt so completely blessed to have the opportunity to experience something like that. Mm. Did it feel like um did it feel like you prepared your entire life for that moment? Did you know when you were on that stage for the taping or for the blind audition? You know, did it feel like everything you've done? I mean, we've seen only a smidgen of what you've prepared for in your life, mm-hmm. but did it feel like a huge encapsulation of what you've worked for? Yeah, it kind of did because I think yeah. that you know everything that I've been to and been through at this point kind of helped me to prepare for that it was kind of mm-hmm. schooling me for that in a weird way and it's so funny because you never know what what god is up to <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that when you just let him you know kind of have his his way and let his will you know be done then you start to think oh so this is why this had to happen and that right. had to happen and that's why that door closed <laughs> <laughs> so definitely wow. i felt like I, I i don't know how the other i mean they're like 15 year olds you yeah, know that really? were auditioning and I was just like oh my gosh I don't know how they're doing this and you know going through it so well when so much surely and you know I just I thank God everybody's different <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. have to do that that's just me <laughs> alright wow. well, Tessan you spoke of what you have been through um, we may know the story but our other listeners may not know the story we want to know what you've been through so take us back now to your early beginnings in music and what you actually have been through right well i was born into music because both parents are musicians you know and um i was either at rehearsals or on a lounge chair at some gig falling asleep <laughs> <laughs> or you know just always constantly around music so i really believe it's something that chooses you like you don't necessarily choose it it's just in your your spirit to do so and um I've been singing all my life. I went to I have a very heavy theater background with this people and Team Players Club, and that instilled a wonderful kind of work work ethic and discipline within us. And um, shortly after that, we went to England, um, and I was about 12, 11 or 12, and I was exposed to different things, different types of music, different culture. And um, I came home, and I knew that when I came home, I wanted to sing, but I wanted to do it in my way. I didn't want to be the typical, you know, singer. I wanted yeah. to mix stuff. I wanted to fuse stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even at the, the 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 warning and the caution of everybody else to just keep it simple and keep it reggae, you know, but that was never me. So after that, I mean, I started touring with Sir Jimmy Cliff, and that was my version of university and college. I joined up with <laughs> a rock band. <laughs> Carvel High in Jamaica and um, after that I I decided to go on my own once again and I released a song called Hideaway. Yes, I was getting to that. That was yeah. uh, maybe the first time that many Jamaicans um, heard of you mm-hmm. um, because of Hideaway and it is still one of the, the, the best songs um, Jamaica, uh, many Jamaicans mm-hmm. love. Um, talk to us about um, that song. Um, who produced it and why was it Hideaway? Well, it, it, I mean, good songs, I think, write themselves. <laughs> I the love that. Song, I, I really didn't have, like, I was at the guitar, and I just started to strum, and I remember I hit a new chord, because I taught myself how to play guitar, so half the time I don't even know what chord I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I strummed a particular chord, and it just evoked that kind of a melody out of me, and within about, like, ten minutes, the song was finished. 
because it wow. was that you know it was just meant to be and it was a canvas of what would be because I brought to Rudy Valentino who is an amazing producer and co-producer um, Paul Castic and they took my canvas and they painted on wow. it so that's how that came to be and it sh- I think it shocked me so much that <laughs> Jamaica responded Received so well yes. because I, I mean nobody expects that from a song you know you just write a song hoping it will you know reach people and do it but you don't expect it to, to go so far or to live so long Great. So, Tessa, we're on our first break on Young Power this morning. I'm going to ask you kindly just to hold for us. We're going to take take care of some commercials and come back. We have so much more to talk to you about. No problem. We remind our listeners as well that they can call in and we will share their comments with and you. And they can tweet. They can tweet at Young oh, Power 106. <laughs> <laughs> or on Facebook, go there and like our page and post your comments at www.facebook.com, Young Power 106. So many avenues to reach us this morning. Tessa and Chin is live with us, and it's going to be a good interview until about 10.45. We'll be back right after this. Everywhere, everywhere. Welcome back to Young Power on Power 106 FM, Arroyo Eubanks and Jesse Blake here. Yep. And we have yep. online Tessan Chin. Tessan, welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Thank you for having me. Great. So let's now talk about uh, you, The Voice. So you've, you've had all of those experiences traveling with Sir Jimmy and, of course, recorded Hideaway, a big, big hit in Jamaica, and so many Ooh. other songs. You also had a successful album, I think, as well. Mm-hmm. But then why did you decide to audition for The Voice? Well, I think that for me, you know, making it is relative to whoever you're talking about because my making it can be different to somebody else's making it. <laughs> True. And for me, I knew that I was once an international career, and I'm very proud of everything that I've achieved and accomplished in Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. But I knew that for for me, I wanted to to go out into the world and have a career. Like for example, the people I looked up to were Tina Turner and Celine Dion and Beyonce and Whitney Houston and you know ladies like that so I wanted my chance to kind of go there and show the world hey this is what we're made of too mm. so that's Ex- why. explain to us um, your your type of music because I am um, hearing you say that I was going to ask you first why do you think that wasn't possible with um, what you're currently doing musically um, because we've seen much of our reggae artists um, break out on the international mm-hmm. scene yeah. mm-hmm. but then explain to us your type of music the music Tessan does my music is, you know, I don't like to be put in a box, first of all. I don't like to be told I can just do one thing. So I've always, you know, had a fusion, whether it be rock and reggae or soul and reggae or dance hall or, you know, it's always been definitely a fusion for me. But for right now, I think there's a bit of an evolution and um, a rebirth happening where my music is concerned because I've been leaning towards more of a pop rock kind of vibe these days so we'll mm-hmm. see we'll see what happens and and and, and was that um, did that then make it difficult to to break out on the international scene no I just think that you know nothing before it's time and for whatever reason we don't know why that is why it hasn't happened but I don't believe I don't believe that it was any one thing I just think mm-hmm. that you you know, it's a preparation with a little bit of luck <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and a little bit of God in between. And I just think, Amen. you know, everything is supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen. All so, right. no problem. No, no, Tessan, you you made a big step on the international scene by by um performing on the Voice. And folks, I mean, uh, have been all around. Folks have been saying that um before you performed that, hey, why is she doing this? Isn't she mm-hmm. already an established mm-hmm. artist? Isn't this going to water down our right. thing, in, in, a, in a sense? That's, yeah. that's what I was saying. You know, establish is relative to whoever you're talking to. Yeah. Because if establish, you know, this could be somebody's established, but to me, this was just a stepping stone to something else and always has been, you know? So, I, like I said, I continue to say I am very proud of what I've achieved in Jamaica, but I believe that I can... I can, you know, wave my, my, my country's flag in so many other countries and in so many other regions. And, you know, I don't want to limit myself to just one thing. So why not? That's right. And you would have a support system around you as well 
I mean, they would have heard the criticisms. How did they help you to be further emboldened to achieve, to, to, to pursue your dream? Well, you know, I think for me, when it when it comes to my family, first of all, like my mom and dad, they've never mm -hmm. seen me want to do anything else. So they know it wasn't just a phase <laughs> I was going through or just some bright idea I woke up with. I, I, I literally sang every day of my life. Mm -hmm. Since I was about five, that's all I ever wanted to do. And it's the same thing with my sister. She's always been an entertainer. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it was dancing or singing or acting, we've always had that background. Mm -hmm. And my parents are creative people. So they could understand that need and they could understand that it wasn't just, oh, I want to be famous. It's never <laughs> just been about being famous. It's being able to say that you're successful at something that you're gifted at. We, you we, know, and that you're able to share that with the world. So, great. We, you, you have some great support system around you. We mm -hmm. saw at the audition, your father, um, how excited he was when, <laughs> when the chairs were turning, and your <laughs> husband, yes. who, uh, uh, I think, uh, hi, Michael. Wait a minute. Your husband is online as well, Tessa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You were in a room lying down. <laughs> He's not well. <laughs> What's he doing on radio? <laughs> you, you, you know I went peace every opportunity to come on. You know that. Oh, <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. You should be resting. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, th thanks, thanks, Mel. Well, thanks for doing this, Michael. You we appreciate it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. We, we, we did it. We did it. So, 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 Michael, talk to us about... Um, what 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 you this, what what you thought when Tessan told you that you know, honey, I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be auditioning for The Voice. Um, I, I can remember the day correctly. She had a long conversation with Shaggy, mm -hmm. and then she came to me and she was like, "How do you feel about me doing The Voice? I've never seen the show before, so I didn't know what she was talking about. Kind of like, you know, huh? what's that? <laughs> you know." And then she goes, "You know, that's one on NBC, that, that show on NBC, and blah blah blah." So I'm kind of like, "Yes, why not? You know, just it, it just you know." It, as you heard her talk about she's been doing doing music for so long and um, I know she's I, I will say hands on she's the greatest vocalist I've ever heard you know her, her talent is amazing mm -hmm. but hey. people ask me about no. making it or whatever or how do you make it you know it's really about getting a great opportunity you know that's right um, so we've always been looking for that great opportunity for her to just kind of break and you know I felt like well this this could be it you know so I was very very excited when I heard her say it and uh, you were there uh, we saw you during the the um, audition and you uh, at one point you were like yeah <laughs> and then you were like all four baby all four <laughs> like hey you know what judges guess what man I knew you'd turn around man <laughs> you, 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 you knew you knew what would happen didn't you Michael let me tell you it's you know any card can play and I mean you, you start you're, you're confident first but then you, you can't help sometimes you have a little bit of doubt and I don't want to give a what happens there but there are times when you see people crying and you know you're kind of like Ratchet, that one was good <laughs> you, know? so you, you kind of say to yourself wow you know what's going to happen and yeah. for me I kind of knew that yes. the first three would but I knew that Blake Shelton was a, was a country guy and mm -hmm. not the necessarily mm -hmm. country so mm -hmm. when he turned around for me it was really really a, a great feeling to see that that you got all four chairs you know T Tessan how, how, about, how about you when you saw the chairs turning the first thing that came to your mind Keep singing. Ah, singing. A good, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the professional. <laughs> 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 hey, like you're singing for Christina Aguilera. It's like it was her sweet 16, and you were performing for her. It was I, like I love her. I love her. Man, it was it's awesome. awesome man. It was great. It was great. Man. But then you you ended up ch um, choosing Adam Levine. Why? Because mm -hmm. Adam to me is more of a uh, hold up. He's like me in yeah. terms of like I don't when I listen to Adam's music, I can hear so many different influences there, from rock to pop to dance. You know, and he can cross all of those genres easy, from jazz to soul. And I think that he would understand more a vocalist on artists like me who is coming from predominantly reggae and how to help me to reach a, mm -hmm. a wider market because he's done it. So that's why I chose him. That's Great. right.
Uh, all right, uh, we're gonna go to a, a quick break. Uh, the comments are coming in the sun on our Facebook no, and Twitter page. Yeah. <laughs> gonna share some of them for you when we come back from this break. Michael Koff is also online with us. He just surprised the Tessan on <laughs> air and she's blushing away. <laughs> we love it. This is Young Power on Power 106 FM to San Chin. Michael Koff is on with us. We're gonna. Back into Young Power on Power 106 FM. Welcome back to San. Hey. And hey. Michael as well. Jesse and I were just wondering if you did that song for Michael. I did actually. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but I thought of him when I recorded it. Oh. oh. There you go. <laughs> that, was for me. that was for me. That was for you. That was for you, Michael. Uh, uh, Tisan, um let's share some comments that are coming in for you and yeah. then we talk some more about the voice journey. Uh, on Facebook, Joan Waterman says that was an awesome audition, you go girl. Oh, and you, Jack Smith said, go get them woman, go get them grown woman. <laughs> Blonde Burrell says, you will win, you're a Jamaican and we're, we are Go, we're good at everything. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's Jamaica to the world, you know. And then on Twitter, Corey, I can't pronounce that last name, says she was my first ever follower on Twitter. Lo, oh I'm aching God. for her to sing My Last Breath by Evanescence. Do you know that? Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something? And then Sathara says, reliving the moment of the voice with Tisan on Young Power 106 on Power 106 FM. Thank you. Thank you guys for following Thank us you. on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, to send the outpouring of love you're receiving from Jamaicans, did you expect this? Not at all. I mean, I think everybody, you hope for it. You know, you hope that people are proud of you and what you're doing, and you, you pray that you, you make them proud. But you, I never I never in my wildest dreams thought that this could lead to, to such support and such mm-hmm. encouragement and such... Like it, it honestly it floors me on a daily basis how many people just come up to pat me on the back or just say, you know, great, keep going on. You don't have to do another thing, I'm a pro to you. And I was just <laughs> like, wow, you know. That's right. And it, it means the world to me, it really does. And uh, we have seen a number of um, singers as well and the recording artists, um, mm-hmm. you know, is singing admiration for you, Mr. Bombastic himself, Shaggy. I'm Aww. super proud of my girl, Tessan. You did great. 
It's only yeah. just begun. Enjoy the ride. Sean Paul says, Rrr, Tessan, you always make me get goosebumps when you <laughs> sing. Lennox Lewis says, Big up to Jamaica's own Tessan for pulling four cheers on the voice. Me say, Big things are come. Um, earlier, we had read a post um, that said, uh, um, from someone on Facebook that said that, hey, it's, we're Jamaicans. It's what we do. We win. I know you're on the voice. You said that singing is your bread and butter. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. folks at home know what bread and butter is. Bread but and butter started trending, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> internationally started trending. It's a social media phenomenon. <laughs> because of this, that. Well, you're powerful, lady. You're powerful. Oh, thank you. I think Jamaicans are powerful because they're the ones that started trending it. <laughs> I remember, I remember, I was telling people that on Monday night, when we were all sitting up to watch you for mm-hmm. two hours on The Voice, no, and you I didn't go. I'm going to one go hide. <laughs> <laughs> but the amazing thing was, Tessan, on that night, we all, everywhere on Twitter, I remember us tweeting, waiting for Tessan, waiting for yep. Tessan, until mm-hmm. you started trending worldwide. I couldn't believe that. At I number six. That. And yeah. I tell, I, I was explaining to the folks on air last week that when you start trending worldwide, you know, that's a, mm-hmm. a big, big, big thing, thing, you know. That's right. Mm-hmm. Big thing. That's right. Mm-hmm. And your, your audition video... On YouTube at 9.54 this morning, 540,258 views. So, Good Lord. Yeah, wow. yeah. You're big, my friend. You're big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tessan, we have a caller. All of those people could just vote. <laughs> exactly. Get through to the live gasoline. <laughs> we, 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 we're going to talk to you about, about yeah. that process in a little while. But uh, um, we have a caller online who I think wants to say hello to you. Okay, so let's say no good problem. morning. Good morning, morning and welcome to Young Paul. Hi, morning, guys. Hi, morning. morning. Hi, I really like your song. You Thank sing you. with so much feeling. You know, you can feel it. So much passion, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's your name? Natalie. I'm calling from Washington Garden. Thank you, Natalie. That means a lot to me. Thank you very much for calling. Yes. Right. What's next for you? Well, I, in the competition, I can't say too much, but I know we go through to the battle rounds where the coach, in this case, Adam, basically choose somebody within his team, and you have to basically have a sing-off okay. <laughs> with the song that he chooses. So fingers and toes and everything. <laughs> across. Um, and, him across. and thank you, Natalie. Get your family <laughs> overseas as well to stay tuned to The Voice, and they can vote for Tessan, all right? All right. Keep good. Thank you. Natalie, at, um, Tessan, the Patrike Aarons, who will join us very soon on Young Power as well, said, Tessie, me proud that you can't do it. You made Aww. me cry. Thanks. <laughs> so, I mean. Thank pa- you. All right, great. My- Michael Cole. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> All this admiration for Tessan, man. Now, how does that make you feel? You know, uh, a lot of people ask me that question because, you know, being a man standing beside such a powerful woman. That's right. Um, they ask me all the time, you know, do you ever get jealous? You know, is it, is it like an ego thing? And first and foremost, you you can't you can't have a big ego if you're gonna be with somebody who's absolutely great, you know? Yeah. Who's, a, who's amazing. And the thing with Tessie that I love is that she's just a sweet person naturally. You know, she reminds me of my my, my dad. My dad is a naturally nice person yes, all the time. Yes, we we know him very well. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, when he says hi, it's a genuine hi. And Tessie, the same thing with her. It's a genuine hi. It's a genuine smile. So. It makes me feel really, really good because I don't know how you'll take this, but she represents me very well. You know, you have a, oh. you have a crass, not so nice wife, and then say, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the kind of girl, you, you, you know, but, you're, but you're with. But we'll she, compatible. Yeah. She's, she's, she's amazing. And, I'm, and it makes me feel really, really good. I mean, I've been getting all the congratulations and trying to pass it across to her, but it's, it makes me feel really good. Great. Tessan, we have a very youthful mm-hmm. audience because that's that's who we target on this program, mm-hmm. Young Power. Mm-hmm. I want you to talk to them right now, listening to us, and believe somehow that there there are boundaries, there are limitations to what they can achieve in life. You've you've denied that for us. Mm-hmm. Talk to them for me, please. Well, I just believe, you know, I think each and every one of us, just like how we all have different fingerprints, there's nobody on this planet like you. You're an unrepeatable miracle of God and you need to stand in that and stand firm in that and be confident in who you are because the world, there's something that you have that the world needs and whatever it is, I pray you find it and be confident in it and be guided by it and just keep believing in yourself, keep believing 
in your prayers, keep faithful and just go for it. Don't let anybody ever tell you that something is too hard, too big, too whatever. I heard somebody say once that if your dreams if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Wow. You know? So keep on dreaming and know that you have greatness within you. How does Tessan Chin deal with challenges that come in her own life? I mean, we may think that, hey, you're a star and, you know, life must be all peachy keen mm-hmm. for Tessan Chin. <laughs> and, you know, Tessan Chin lived the best of life. She, don't have <laughs> no, she ain't got no worries. And she mm-hmm. bought a ghost food in her exactly. mouth. Exactly. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Talk to us, though, man. Demystify that for us. How do you deal with everyday life, the challenges that that brings? Man, you're well, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael is a that. challenge. <laughs> I think that's very interesting because people normally do look at, you know, artists in general, not just me and Tommy, but artists in general, and think, come on, them sort out. But the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, we we do what we do because we love it. It's not because... We are rich and famous. There's no such there's no such thing <laughs> in Jamaica at the moment. Everybody from the richest to the poorest, you can tell, is having a hard time. Mm-hmm. And the thing that gets me through is my faith. And I say that unapologetically because that has been the only thing since I was a child to know that has remained. And that has remained the same and that has been a constant is my faith. And if I didn't have that faith in God, if I didn't have that faith in prayer to get me through those times where because the worst thing to to me would be to have everything but still be in a place of just darkness and to have nothing within you and I think that is worse than anything else in the world so I'd rather you know I think God gives you a little before he can give you a lot and for me faith and how does Michael help you in that regard as well (laughs) in every particular way I have a praying husband that's right. And, you know, both of us, I believe that we, we pray together, we go to church together as much as we possibly can. And, you know, when one is down, thankfully both of us are never down at the same time. You know, because mm-hmm. there's always one of us saying, listen, babe, you can't, you can't believe in these things and quote scripture and talk about God and then, you know, doubt it at yeah. the end of the day. Faith so without works is... All else fails, you buy a pizza, go to Tutti Frutti. <laughs> <laughs> secret bus! <laughs> the secret bus! <laughs> the way to Tess and Chin's heart, pizza and Tutti Frutti. Let me tell you something. You see, us, me, I'm all about simple. We're discussing this. Simple pleasure, so yeah. it don't take a lot to please me. Mm-hmm. What? What's so. Well, um, Tess and Chin, we're, we're going to wrap up with you. Um, when is your next performance? Um, on what? On the voice. 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 I can't. I, I don't, don't know, know yet. that. All right. The next thing that will be happening is, are the buses, and that should either be, I think, not this week, come up next week. All right. Ah, well, here's what. On Young Power, we'll be tracking you yeah. on The Voice, Aww. like we did with Gina Argitai or Mr. Make a World. So what we'll be doing on Young Power, on both our Facebook and on Twitter page, is using the hashtag Team Tassan. So every time there's something new with Tessan Chin as it relates to The Voice, we'll be letting our listeners know about it and we'll be, enc- we'll be encouraging them to share their comments and provide feedback on your performances on The Voice. And we'll, of course, when it comes to the voting time, let them know how to vote. Thank you so very much for having me and thank you. Thank no you problem. so much for the love and support to everybody. I really appreciate it and just continued blessings and success. <laughs> Let me share some more comments with you before you go. Okay. Uh, Kelly Campbell on our Facebook page says, I could remember when she came to the British Virgin Islands. Love yes. you, girl. You remember that? I do. I do. <laughs> and on Facebook as well, Stephen Devinson says, make sure to tell um, Tess and hi for me or else. Hi, so. <laughs> so, so just saying hi to you from those folks on our Facebook and on Twitter page. Tessa, it was a pleasure, and we wish you all the best. Trust me, Thank you, you, you very much. as you said, somebody tell you already, you can do no wrong now. <laughs> <laughs> you are our bread and butter. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for inviting my husband on too. That was a really sweet surprise. Michael, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. It's right. a great show. Good, good. Thank you so much. Michael Koff and Tessan Chin on Young Power on Power 106. Fantastic. 
fantastic woman, fantastic um, messages she has, fantastic belief. She says, you know, God gives you a little before he gives you a lot. Young people, there are no boundaries. There are no limitations to what you can achieve. Step outside of the box. And we hear that so often, but literally and figuratively, you can do it if you just believe in yourself. So go there, achieve what you must, and put God first in everything you do. We Take a break on Young Power and Power 106 FM. We're playing Try by Pink. That's a song to an audition with on the voice. But when we come back, Weather Girl, Patricia Aarons. She's so much more than a weather girl. We'll be back. Can try, try. 